Good morning world. So yesterday I did a video on it's uh, being okay with people not liking you and it sparked some very interesting conversations. Apparently, <clears throat> and thank you Miss Mayflower. She said, uh, you said that uh, we have been indoctrinated, I think that was the word, We've been taught to uh, want everybody to like us as women, especially. And we have to unlearn that because um, being who you are, a lot of great comments. Thank you so much for commenting and letting me know how you feel about not being liked because it's going to happen. And um, the less. I give the energy and power to people that um, are negative about what I am, what I'm doing, um, the more power you give them. I finally get that. I mean, there's a difference between self-righteous indignation and humble acceptance. <laughs> and I've been on both sides of that. Um, but what I want to say is... Um, better to just move on and when I think about uh, my own mistakes in life and then epiphanies from them I see that if I hadn't been so gosh darn um, focused on getting someone to like me or understanding why they didn't um, I could have moved on to greener pastures um, like you know what this pandemic has done uh one of the good things i've reconnected with people um online that i've met a long time ago uh students friends colleagues clients and we've reconnected and it's such a gift because all of a sudden you realize there is this beautiful connection um that maybe you didn't realize until now um because it's withstood the test of time and it's even deeper because you know you reach out to the people that mean something to you and and want to keep those relationships going and it's really interesting who shows up in your life so if we don't put all our focus on trying to get people to like us um, we're more open to the good that comes our way and we just don't know where that's gonna come from I've been praying more lately and just connecting to my own divine wisdom and I think we are given that opportunity in this pandemic because the stuff on the outside doesn't matter as much as what's going on inside you because it determines what's going to be happening around you. So um, this was supposed to be a shorter video but here we are I'm going to the park every day to be with the trees because it really makes me peaceful and I have a bit of a routine going wake up meditate do yoga or go for a long walk write this uh, one month writing retreat turned into three months <laughs> and it's been so good um, really simple life here and I love it the social distancing it doesn't seem to be so hard to do here because it's a small town and there's not crowds I mean the only crowds maybe are on weekends in the markets but you don't have to go then so Take time to love yourself give yourself time to be quiet with yourself and connect with your true nature because um, you're always going to be your own best friend it's not on the outside of you it's on the inside so um, hey let's continue the discussion thanks for the likes the subscribes thanks for letting me know that you bought my book and um, I'll put the links below and I'll see you in the next video so appreciate you being here <laughs>